Alright guys, you're looking at a round of 277 Wolverine developed by Mad Dog Weapon Systems. This is my all-around favorite cartridge for the AR-15. Uh, there's a little bit of prep work that needs to be done to turn your 556 brass into 277 Wolverine. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay, so here's how we go from this 556 case to this 277 Wolverine. The first step that I do is that I chop these all to a rough length right about at the neck shoulder junction. So I'm going to use my Harbor Freight chop saw with a jig and we'll get these trimmed up here. So now your cases are going to like look like this. What I do next is a little chamfer deburr on the outside and the inside. Just a little bit on the outside. You don't want to scratch that shoulder which will then soon become the neck. All right. Once I got those all chamfered into burn, I'll put them in my red bin here. Give them a shot of my homebrew case lube. Agitate them a little. Make sure the cases are fully lubed. Now I'll just set them out to let some of that alcohol dry off, leaving just the lanolin so we don't stick a case. Okay, the next step after you chopped them is you uh, run them through your sizing die. I don't take the guts out, anything like that. I just run the chop case right through the sizer. And I'll do that with the rest of them here. Here's our five cases fresh out of the die. Just got to take a little bit off of the off the mouth to get them to the final trim length. I trim mine to 1.530. Uh, some people trim a little shorter, some people trim a little bit longer, but that's what I go for in my cartridges. You can check on the Mad Dog Weapon Systems uh, WildcatShooters.com forum for uh, more specifics on the trim length. But what we're going to do next is go over to my drill press where I have my press mounted trimmer and we'll get these to a final length. Alright, over to the press here. I've got my dead on trimmer. I can adjust that per, by the thousandth so I can get the exact same trim on all of them. Uh, similar to the world's finest trimmer or the Little Crow Gunworks. Uh, this is the one I chose and it's been working well for me. So we're going to trim these up to the final length. Okay, so we've got them to the final length. Just got to chamfer and divert, deburr the outside here. One other step that I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my reamer in the drill press and ream out the military crimp inside the brass here. Uh, so I just chuck that up right in my drill press and do that for all my pieces of brass. You only have to do it once and uh, then you won't have any issues seating primers. So we're going to do that quick here too now. All right, so just chamfer the burr on all of these. Get rid of any kind of burrs from trimming. Put a nice, nice uh, chamfer there so that your bullet seats nicely. And there, there you have it. And that's how we turn this into this. Check out Mad Dog Weapon Systems online. Check out the WildcatShooters.com forum. And you'll find everything you need to know about the 277 Wolverine and more. Thank you.